Let's learn about Rosslayer's ACD32, one of the best and cost-effective standalone access control solution. It's suitable for 500 users and can be used with card and PIN. Rosslayer's ACD32 is an indoor single-door PIN and card-based controller. It's suitable for 500 users, as 500 cards or PIN can be registered with it. It works with proximity cards with 125 kHz frequency. It has got three user levels, Normal, Secure, and Master. With Normal, you can use either PIN or card. With Secure mode you need to use both card and PIN to have secure access. ACD32 has got a facility of adding a bell to it which can be used either for guest call bell or as a tamper alarm. With just three components, ACD32, electromagnetic lock and exit button it can be used as a complete access control solution for a single door. As there is no facility to have data output from ACD32, it's useful where in and out data are not that critical and only authorized access required. It's very easy to install ACD32. This wiring diagram will help you to make the connections easily and make the system working. 12 volt power supply positive and negative connect to the first and second point of the connection board. M locks positive and negative connects to third and second point. Exit buttons 2 wire connects to fourth and second points respectively. For connecting BLD40 bell. Its two power supply wires connects to first point and third wire connects to fourth point. For using Bell, ACD32 works only with Rosslayer's BLD40. You can use it if guest Bell is required to be integrated with ACD32 as it has got a Bell button as well. BLD40 is also useful for generating alarm in case of a tamper with the device. Let's have an hands-on experience for Rosslayer's ACD32 for its working and connections. So this is a ACD32 standalone controller which can be used with proximity card or password. 500 cards or password can be enrolled in ACD32. This is lock 600 LBPS which is connected to ACD32. We are connecting power supply 12 volt 2 ampere to ACD32. Positive and negative of power adapter are connected on 12 volt and negative terminal of ACD32. Lock positive and negative are connected on the lock terminal of ACD32. And a push button of NO type is connected. At present, lock is not having current. So we will program the ACD32 from NO to NC mode. Hash for 2 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4 which is by default programming mode. 6 number 1, 1, 0, 4. So now you can see the lock is having power and it is magnetized. So why we use uh, the programming mode 6 and 1104 at 04 represent the uh, seconds for which lock will be open. By default the pro uh, password is 25080. So you can see lock is not having current right now. After 4 seconds lock is having current back so it is magnetized. We will check again. 2580 So for 4 second if you want to increase the time of this hash 1 2 3 4 6 1 1 0 8 2580
सो नाउ फॉर एट सेकेंड लॉक विल बी ओपन आफ्टर एट सेकेंड लॉक विल गेट पावर बैक एंड इट विल बी मैग्नेटाइज सो डोर विल बी क्लोज बाय प्रेसिंग द पुश बटन ऑल्सो वी कैन ओपन द डोर सो पुश बटन विल बी इंस्टॉल्ड इन साइड द डोर एंड ए सी डी थर्टी टू विल बी इंस्टॉल्ड आउट साइड द डोर वेर वी कैन शो द कार्ड एट प्रेजेंट वी आर हैविंग टू कार्ड्स प्रॉक्सिमिटी वन ट्वेंटी फाइव किलो हर्ट्स नॉन एच आई डी विच वी आर शोइंग सो लॉक इज नॉट गेटिंग ओपन सो वी नीड टू एड दो कार्ड अगेन हैश फॉर टू सेकेंड वन टू थ्री फोर सेवन नंबर जीरो जीरो वन फर्स्ट कार्ड हैश सेकेंड कार्ड हैश पिन फोर फाइव फोर फाइव हैश एंड नाउ बैक टू नॉर्मल मोड सो वॉट वी डिड वी एंटर टू प्रोग्रामिंग मोड टू क्यू जीरो जीरो वन एंड शोड नंबर ऑफ कार्ड्स टू दी डिवाइस नाउ वी विल शो बैक यू कैन सी डोअर एल ई डी ग्रीन एंड हियर डोर इज पावर इज ऑफ फॉर एट सेकेंड सेकेंड कार्ड अगेन डोर एल ई डी इज ओपन सो डोर एल ई डी नाउ वी विल चेक पिन फोर फाइव फोर फाइव वॉज अ पिन सो डो यू कैन सी डोअर एल ई डी इज ग्रीन एंड हियर लॉक इज नॉट हैविंग पावर which represent that lock is open so like this we can enroll multiple pins and cards around 500 to this ac d32 it also has a case tamper which if law if, if cover of this device is open so that case tamper will give signal to the external device connected thanks for watching our video We keep on updating more informative stuffs on electronic security and access control. Please subscribe and keep visiting.